Good afternoon. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies and a lot of warmth in New Orleans. We've been talking about these near record or possibly record highs that we're going to be having. And that will be the case both right now, today and into tomorrow. But we do have a cold front on the way and then we eventually have some rain coming. I know a lot of people excited about that, especially as we get into this weekend, possibly even early on Easter Sunday morning. Looking outside right now, though, we do have mostly cloudy conditions at all of our different camera locations. And as we look at our temperatures, we're already in the middle 80s. Kenner is reporting 85 already, the lakefront 84, and Slidell and other spots about 83. And then yesterday, we uh, have lately been introducing our feels like temperature graphic, our heat index when you factor in our high humidity with dew points in the low 70s. So it is feeling already like upper 80s and low 90s. Tracking our temperatures for today, we will be hovering in the upper 80s and then eventually getting into the 70s. We'll go ahead and say highs today about 88 or 89. The record high today is 88. So if we do touch 88, we will be tying it. 89 would be breaking and setting a new record. Lows tonight will be in the low 70s like we saw this morning. We may have a bit of patchy fog and muggy conditions for sure. Still, that big high pressure area is just off to the southeast of our coastline, and you can see the circulation around that with cloud cover, with higher humidity, and maybe a stray shower today, but actually I think we'll stay dry. Our rain chance is just about 10% or so. When we talk about the rain, a lot of people looking ahead after a long dry spell in New Orleans to our next rain chance. And it does look like we may have a few showers late Thursday into Friday, and then especially Saturday night into early Sunday, possibly giving us up to one or two inches of rain, which we should be able to handle because of all this dry weather we've had lately. And it looks like there could be a couple of severe storms possible early Sunday morning. Here's the early outlook. A lot of specifics still we need to set uh, down and kind of nail down a little bit more as we get closer and get a better idea of the system. But right now it does look like much of the Gulf South may be looking at the chance for a couple of isolated, at least strong to severe storms. That would be overnight Saturday and very early Sunday morning. So as you make your weekend plans, we're expecting the rain, especially from late Saturday, perhaps even evening into especially overnight and then around sunrise or so on Sunday. It looks like the rain on Sunday, as we've been saying, will be ending probably by midday. So that could actually leave us with some drier weather, maybe for a backyard at home kind of Easter egg hunt or something like that on Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. But it does look like the morning may start with a few of those stronger storms. As we get into Monday and Tuesday next week, look at those temperatures in the 70s, breezy conditions, less humid air should be pretty pleasant to start Easter week. Alexandra, thank you. Hospital buildings aren't the only places that need to be disinfected because of coronavirus patients. The medical transports also need a good cleaning. We'll tell you about a robot now helping with that process. That's coming up.